Hola qué tal gente de Youtube soy Darkar728, y en este video he recopilado todos los episodios de Heyuba Boss y el episodio de Hasbin Hotel, en la descripción estarán los creadores oficiales de los videos. Pondré un link de los videos para que los vean. Esta recopilación solo tiene los episodios subtitulados sin más que decir al video, dale intro. Services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. Got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. Tell the missus I said hi. Snuck him. Back up. Boom on my Drugs! Damn it! <laughs> Those are the cowardly sinners! Dare not hinder my territorial takeover! A wise decision! The power of my machines are unmatched! No other demon can compare to the likes of I! Gee, that was pretty swell! Boss? Yeah! You really showed them what for. I liked when you shot them with your ray gun. I wish he'd shoot me with his ray gun. At this rate, I will seize control of the entire west side of the pentagram by day's end. And nothing, not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. will be mine, and everybody will know the name of Sir Pe Lord! Pardon? 
Who said that? What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Speak up! That wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. You looking for a fight, old man? Why don't you get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it? More. Oh, you wanna go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Katie Killjoy. And I'm Tom Trench. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's right, Tom. After the recent extermination, many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over hell are already duking it out to gain new territory. Those two seem to really be going at it, huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> you are a lip dick jackass, Tom. Or should I say, no dick. Coming up next, we have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. Mm -hmm. All that and more after the break. Suck it up, you little bitch. You remember what to say? Yes! Let's do this! Just look at me, and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Baggy! I know what to say! I just feel like we need to... I don't know, make things sound more exciting! Oh, what if I sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that. Because I know you, but please don't sing. This is serious. Well, you know, I'm better at expressing myself and my goals through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine, but I have these other ideas of what to say. The highlighted bits are the best parts. Uh, it's all highlighted. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Everyone's smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. I'll just have to result to my impeccable improv skills. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have standards. Yeah? How's, uh, how's that working out for you? Look. My time is money, so I'll keep this short. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. You might be some royal big shot, but that doesn't mean shit to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck about what some tough swearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live! Welcome back! Go, Charlotte! It's... Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well... <clears throat> As most of you know, I was born here in Hell, and growing up I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We... we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance! I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So, I've been thinking, isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in Hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Well, I think yes! So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. You know, cause hotels are for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> Is this girl for real? She thinks it. You hear what she thinks? She <laughs> Oh, she's nuts. I figure it would serve a purpose. A place to work towards redemption. Yay! 
stupid bitch. Look, every single one of you has something good deep down inside. I know you do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh no. I have a dream. I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind right here in hell. Catering to a specific clientele. Inside of every demon is a rainbow. Inside every sinner is a shiny smile. Inside of every creepy hatchet wielding maniac is a jolly, happy, cupcake loving child. We can join the world. was shit. <laughs> what in the nine circles makes you think a single denizen of hell would give two shits about becoming a better person? You have no proof that this little experiment even works. You want people to be good just because? Well, we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who might that be? Oh, just someone named Angel Dust. The porn star? You fucking would, Tom. In any case, that's not even an accomplishment. I'm sure you can get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, I beg to differ. He's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Breaking news! We are receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. It looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than... Horn actor Angel Dust! What a juicy coincidence! You must feel really stupid right now. <laughs> Ready? Don't look at this! Well, it sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. Tell us, how does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> yeah, well, how does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch! <laughs> Some shit. Oh, I wish! I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Some broads are letting me stay rent-free if I play nice. Ah! <sighs> you know, no fights, no pranks, no problematic language. Her words, not mine. <sighs> These crazy bitches are no fun! I've been clean for two weeks! Holy shit. Well, sort of clean. As clean as you can get on a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. <laughs> Oh, harder, Daddy. Son? You whores have no class. In war, the side remembered is the side with the most... style. Or the side that ain't dead. Speaking of style, is your hat, like, alive or something? Oh, well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now is it? Would that make your hat the top and you the bottom? Mmm. 
going to blow you to bits! Oh, kinky. Oh, not like that, pervert! <laughs> not so cocky now, are we? You know, you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. I've been making these sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex! So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, what's one little ball gonna cause? Why won't anyone help me? Glad you haven't changed. You know you're my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You ready to finish this? Born ready, baby. What? 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 What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? Helping friends with stuff? Not with turf wars that result in territorial genocide. Eh, you win some, you lose a few hundred. <laughs> it wasn't that bad anyway. Oh, come on, I had to. My credibility was on the line. I mean, what kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean? It just throws out my entire persona. Your credibility? What about the hotels? Your little stunt made us look like a fucking joke. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Jokes are funny. I made you look... Uh, sad. And pathetic. Like an orphan. With no arms. Or legs. Uh, oh, with progeria! Great! Now I'm bummed thinking about it. This thing have any liquor? Can you please just try to take this seriously? Fine, I'll try. Just don't get your taco in a twist, baby. Was that you trying to be sexist or racist? Whatever pisses you off more. Is there seriously no liquor in here? I'm gonna kill him. Too late, Toots. Wait! Would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with me, bitch. Get used to it. <laughs> Listen, who cares if some jagoffs got hurt? Most of them are ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down you're here. You're one to talk. Hey! This body is flawless. Oh. Everyone wants some of me. And I got the creepy <laughs> fan that is to prove it. That was really uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? After that train wreck, there is no way anyone is gonna want to stay at the hotel. All thanks to you and your selfish bullshit! Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? Ah, oh, well, shucks. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Vaggy. It'll be okay. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> hey, Mom. Um, I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy. Really busy. But, um, the interview didn't go well, and I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, Mom. I... I think Dad was right about me. <laughs> well, eh, anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. <laughs> Love you. Bye.
What? The radio demon is at the door. What? Uh, who? What should I do? Uh, well, don't let him in. May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> so many orphans. Stop right there. Gavron equal to bear. I know your game. And I'm not going to let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. <laughs> no, I'm here because I want to help. To say what now? Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing! Well, I heard you loud and clear. Um, you want to help? With... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do! This hotel! I want to help you run it! But... Why? <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! I've lacked inspiration for decades! My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! I've come to crave a new form of entertainment! <laughs> Does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? <laughs> it's the purest kind, my dear. Reality! True passion! After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Redemption! Oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no! I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners! The chance given was the life they lived before! The punishment is this! There is no undoing what is done! So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Considered an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment. Only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. Right. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help you than I? Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with Smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The Radio Demon, one of the most powerful beings Hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. Ugh. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in Hell, seemingly overnight. He began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout Hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. But one thing's for sure. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. You done? <laughs> he looks like a strawberry pimp. Well, I don't trust him. To be fair, do you trust any man? Any men? <laughs> men? Charlie, listen to me. You can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker. Pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... we don't know that. Look, I know he's bad, and I know he probably doesn't want to change. But the whole point of this is to give people a chance. To have faith things will be better. How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. Everything I believe in. Just trust me. I can take care of myself. Charlie, whatever you do, do not make a deal with him. Don't worry. I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. Okay, so, Dal, you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. But I don't. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better, so I'm taking your offer to help. 
On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then? Nope. No shaking, no deals. I... Hmm. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I, uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. <laughs> Smile, my dear! You know you're never fully dressed without one. <laughs> so where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! No. Your loss. Well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. <laughs> this little darling is nifty. Hi, I'm nifty. It's nice to meet you. It's been a while since they've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I didn't mean that here! I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh man, this place is filthy. It really needs a lady's touch. Which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awful! Nope, 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 <laughs> no, no, <gasps> no. <laughs> ha! Read them and weep, boys. Oh! <laughs> Hell? What the fuck is this? You. Ah, Husker, my good friend! Glad you could make it! Don't you Husker me, you son of a bitch! I was about to win the whole damn pot! Good to see you two! What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope that's okay. Are you shitting me? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. I ain't doing no fucking charity job. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, this job was made for you. Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. What, you think you can buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Well, you can! Hey, 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 no, no bar, no alcohol. This is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind of mouth brothel man king. Shut up! Shut up! We are keeping this. Hey. Go fuck yourself. Only if you watch me. Oh my gosh, welcome to the Happy Hotel. You are going to love it here. I lost the ability to love years ago. So, what do you think? This is amazing! It's... okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining! <laughs> you have a dream you wish to tell And it's just laughable, but hey kid, what the hell? Cause you're one of a kind, a charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys! <laughs> Inside of every demon is a lost cause. <laughs> but we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. They will coronate this cesspool with some old redemption flair and show these simpletons some proper class and style. Oh, here below the ground. Your plan is sound. They'll spend a little time down at this has been home. Well, well, well. Look who it is harboring the striped freak. We meet yet again, Alistair. Do I know you? Oh, yes, you do. And this time I have the element of surprise. <laughs>
want some jambalaya. My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. Yes, sir, this is the start of some real changes down here. The game is set. Now. Stay tuned. <laughs> You shoot me with your ray gun! Alright, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here. Moxie. Now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? Good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir. Because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... what? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you Employee of the Month. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? After lovingly killing my wife for fucking the delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here, after the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jobber who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. We do our job so well because we come straight up from hell. We'll kill your husband or your wife, we'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder profession. Doctor, he's not responding! Oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything! Damn it! I'm not losing another one! 
Clear! <laughs> Holy shit, it actually worked. He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? Kids die for free! I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... D do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, IMP. We're up on up staff. Go on. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I... Oh. Then I don't want it! I'm sorry, the spiders! God damn it. Uh, excuse me. Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam! Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. Sounds a little dtf -y. Oh god, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. You what? Got the buck, got the buck, got this fucking heavy buck. Oh, oh shit! Sorry, I fucked your husband. Blitz! I heard you already! Oh, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your salad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. <gasps> Eat this. And then you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let man the phones. That is offensive. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you give me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? What you dreaming about? I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to go back to that. Of all the ins in hell, it's for him that I fell. Oh, Millie. Are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate! Calm down, Mox. You're gonna have another panic attack! I am calm! They're there. Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside work hours, so don't judge me. 
Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am! You guys are all fucking assholes. Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even the creepy ones. Hey now, that's not very... If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to! <laughs> that's your husband? I figured you for a slut, but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you! What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah Captain Ruth, I... he is good. Yeah. Piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick, I guess there is a god. <laughs> you know, folks, with this company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can like killing people. So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. You know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please! If anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and fall! You're welcome! Oh, what a thrill when the crimson starts to spill And my Millie goes in for the kill She takes away my breath She's the angel of death for me Oh, Millie, she's my queen It's like a dream When I hear her victim start to scream In and out of the sack She's the maniac for me Oh, Millie, when the blood starts dripping down the walls drip, drip, drip. and the bodies start to fall, blood. my heart skips a beat when my Millie's guns are blazing in the heat. Bang, bang, bang. My sass in love, she makes the murder and fun for me. A lot of e of all the ins in hell, it's for her that I fell. Oh, Millie. I was a good person before it all went down. I was good my entire life. Good morning! I hope you all did your homework. We love to do our homework, and we love our teacher too. Then when I throw out these fun questions, you should know just what to do. Okay. Two plus six is eight. And good behavior is eight. And it's now that part of the class when we say the time of day and date. It's nine in the morning on January 8th. The sun is out smiling. And it's your husband's birthday. La 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 Oh, my stars? Stop singing, children. Hush up now. I forgot it's my husband's birthday. I didn't get him anything special. Maybe if we call him, we could do a happy birthday surprise. Okay. Oh, yeah. I right told there. you, we're not going to use things. Right there. Ah! Oh, yeah. That's right actually right my right asshole. There. But I don't care. Yeah. Not there. Not there. Yeah. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Okay. okay, yeah? Wait, this is Mayberry. Remember what you taught us? Think before you act. <laughs> Oh, shit! Sweetie! 
What are you doing here? Shut up, Gerald! <laughs> you scream like a bitch! Oh, God! What have you done? She had a family! We could have had a family! <laughs> oh, dear God, what have I done? In front of you all. I'm so sorry, my children. Don't forget to work on your time stable. <laughs> You do everything right in life, play by all the rules, and still get sent down here with all the Hitlers and Epsteins of the world after one measly massacre propelled by blind rage. So that's why I'm here, to get my revenge. I mean, was she hotter? I'm just saying, I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melodrama you just spat at me, tits. Anyway, I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of a death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. That whore survived. Now they all call her a hero. How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? I just hope that sick woman finally found peace. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh, thank you. Between the talk shows and donation bullshit, she made so much goddamn cash. Getting shot was the best thing to happen to her. You're a hero. You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. She is a hero. <laughs> You're a hero. You're a hero. You're a hero. Oh, 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 you're a hero! She is not a hero! Mm hmm yeah, okay, yeah, my thoughts, exactly. <laughs> Moxie, stop shaking! You're gonna shoot our only hail ham. Wow, I feel so loved here. Just take a deep breath and let it out. But it's a family. Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad or a mob family. That's understandable. But to eradicate an entire innocent, seemingly in this instance, upper middle class family bloodline? Hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online. And this guy, this guy definitely watches. Exactly. Humans are full of secret nasties. It's why so many of them end up here. But guilty and innocent aren't our business, Mox. Killing who we're paid to is our business. Shoot the target. I just think it's a bit excessive, and we could be a bit more selective, is all. Guys, I want you to meet... <laughs> our newest client. Damn it, Moxie, I just bought those eels! Bye, and don't worry, we'll get that skank in less than 24 hours or your first kill is free! When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! Now someone please tell me that fancy book is still intact! You mean, our only ticket to the other side? Yeah, got it. And that's why you're my favorite, Looney. You get a tweet now. Ew, stop. Uh, oh. You're so gross. Aw, oh, stop it. I get enough of that from my therapist. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. Oh, fuck. That's gotta be her. <laughs> this is too easy. Moxie, do you want this one? Me? Yeah, this one's simple enough for you to handle. It's just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Snooze you lose, Mox. And I got you, bitch. Wait, are we actually killing a family? No, don't be a puss. We're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. But, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's just think about this. <laughs> what was that, Ralphie? I don't know, Martha. But whatever it is, they're gonna be tomorrow night's dinner. <laughs> Guns out! Looks like we got some rabbits to catch, youngins. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Moxie? 
I'm sorry. They just seem so wholesome and happy. I panicked. Oh, who the fuck is innocent, Moxie? From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite leeching off your mama's tits. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby dick prick! Ah! A new hole! Scatter! Y'all can't hide long from me! Isn't it a bad time, Blitzy? What is it? I've been meaning to follow up on our last little conversation regarding my grimoire. What did you just call me? My book, Blitzy. The book I was given to do my job that I have allowed you to use to do yours. I can hear you, darling. Shit. Anywho, I have been thinking. You know, I have been permitting you to access the mortal realm less than legally for some time now, but I do need it back to fulfill my duties. I was thinking, what if we worked out some kind of exchange? Favors for favors. Doesn't that sound enticing? You gotta stop using your fancy ass rich people talk, okay? I'm trying to concentrate, I'm not getting fucked in my A! Then let me keep it simple. Once a month, on the full moon, you return the book to me, followed by a night of passionate fornication. And you get to keep it all the rest of the time, hmm? Sound fair, my little imp? Fine, whatever! Oh, Blitz, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to feel your slimy c inside of my d Gotcha! So you're a little devil, huh? Come to drag me and my kin to hell. Well, not today, Satan! Gonna send y'all back where you came from! Billy! <laughs> oh, I had that fucking shot. God! Damn it, Moxie! Satan, we return your filthy creatures back to the pits of hell! May the root of evil remain honored as we continue thy work! Exactly how it works, ladies. Sorry, your fire doesn't really hurt us, but I mean, I could fake it if that'll get your dick hard. Oh, shit. Well, I'll just shoot you in your smart ass mouth. That would be more effective. Blitz! <laughs> Moxie! You're not getting your goddamn paycheck for this one, Box. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm fine. I'm sorry, sir. I compromised our objective and put us in harm's way. It won't happen again. I promise. Apology accepted. 
but if you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will fuck you and your wife. All righty, job well done. Now let's get off. Uh, yeah, give me a moment. I need to get something I left at the house. Okay, fine, but hurry up. Luna, we're ready to come home, dear. Don't move. What are you gonna do, little guy? Kill us? I should. You people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. I'm handling this my way. Oh, shit. Uh, do you, uh... Do you have a phone to summon 911? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Then, what is this for? It's a universal remote. Got it for the kids. Aww. There he is. Have a good wank-off session, Moxie. Excuse me? Look, I don't care where you come in the living world. Just come to your job on time, all right? See you at the office. You doing okay, sweetie? Better now, honey. I think I just needed a minute to process. You have a good heart, honey. Just a fuzzy head. Got it, boys. Oh, did you see my little Mox Mox? Oh, yeah. Oh, Moxie. Well, here's to another mission accomplished, and Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up, but I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. Calling us, Stella. Uh, he gets up. <sighs> Fia, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream. A really bad dream. <sighs> a nightmare. I was looking all over the palace, and I couldn't find you anywhere. You weren't there. There, there, Fia. It's okay. You're okay. When you're scared, and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems more quiet in the dark. It always feels so stark. How silence grows under the moon. Constellations gone so soon I used to think that I was bold I used to think love would be fun Now all my stories have been told Except for one As the stars start to align And when creation goes to die
world is burning down around me. You want to fuck this one too? No, oh, of course not. You are a goddamn embarrassment. I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic, imp-sucking face! <sighs> Good morning, Octavia. Did you sleep well, my owlet? Is that a serious question? Mm -hmm. What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World Is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You, Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming. So are you two done screaming for the day? You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day, just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Our oh, money, maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Now, I'm calling the only man who can f me. What? Who can protect me? Us. Being part of the Goetia family is rather valuable, you know. <laughs> oh, Blitz, you're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. <laughs> what? Why, hello, my big dick, Blitzy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. I have a special request. Oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! <laughs> Eminem, get in here! We're going to Lululand! Lululand? Lululand! Lululand! Now remember, this is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? Hey, Dad, do we have to? Okay, uh, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you, you are so cute when you are serious. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. What? It hasn't changed a bit. Oh, look! It's big, lovely. Ah! That is deeply upsetting. Oh, come on! It's fun! You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me, especially the mascots. Well, hey there! Ah! I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lululand. If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. <gasps> look, here. Yeah. It's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. You really like this place, huh? I love this place! My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it, money-wise. Yeah, the prices do seem rather criminal. I mean, that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lululand! Listen to your hoe, Mox. How about I take the first watch while you two have a little fun? Oh, we gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? Oh, crap! 
Say that bitch, I'm working. You both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What, I just said I'm not one, prude. <gasps> oh, look, Fia! You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. I hate, I hate fucking that fucking clown. clown. Oh, Blitzy! I need my bodyguard, please! Hey, 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 please! It's me, the robotic Fizzerali! Shipped from Big Ozzy's factory to bring you a wonderful show celebrating Lulu Land's spell with O's to avoid lawsuits! Get it? I'm here to tell, He's here to tell about a magical, fantastic place called Blue Blue Land. Hello, hello. Step right up and win a thing. <gasps> oh, look, Moxie! A thing! Oh, you like that thing? Yes! I don't really know what that thing is, but I want that thing. <sighs> Finally, some thing I can handle. Okay. One game, please. Ow! Strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So yeah, no go, bro. <sighs> ah, the heaven's wrong with this thing. Oh, man, a real shame, I tell you. Ah. Another! I sing along with the Lulu band, every boy, every girl, every woman, every man loves Lulu. <laughs> oh, how delightful. Oh, my, what good aim you have, Blitzy. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Octavia! <laughs> oh, is that lit so my sensor spot a bear? I guess the kitties are still running away from you, huh? <laughs> uh oh, it's silent now. Uh -uh. Just like your audience always was when you told, told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester! <laughs> Someone salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! Watch me! Torches! I say, I say, get your inconvenient torches here! Ow! I say, ow! <laughs> wow, man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. Guess you won't win your hottie here a prize. Let me try. Oh, look at that. Lucky shot, baby. Are you kidding me, you, you, you charlatan? Hey, uh, get lost, pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Oh. Sir? Oh, hey, guys. You should probably go, uh, make sure Stolas is okay. I got some unfinished business to take care of. <laughs> oh, what a mouth. <laughs> Jammy knifing! You 
ruined another bloody photo! Why were you even born? Octavia! Just leave me alone! Octavia! <laughs> Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. Oh, that's better. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Octavia, I take it you are not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other, my dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. You need to understand. Your mother and I, I just... I felt... She's always been... I haven't been... Ha, we weren't in... I, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't have the words. Are you going to run off with him? And leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No! No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> So, what would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Ah! Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. That slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs> should have known you'd be here. I can smell fish for miles, which is odd because I believe the nearest ocean is three rings down. And I should have known you'd be here when I heard the amber alerts. Oh yeah? I'm surprised they let your fat ass out of rehab. I can see you're still a drunken whore clutching onto that Bielsa juice bottle like it's the last cock in hell. They let me out because I'm still famous and rehab is for sad loser wash-ups. So your sister says hi. Why are you parking here? This is the only parking spot my company has, so take your tampon race car somewhere else. Actually, prick, it has my name on it. 
I'm doing a bit of freelance for one of the infinitely more successful companies in the building. No way. And they wanted way. to have me come in this week to lead their team during spring break. A week? Uh, no, no, you are not parking here for a fucking week. Aw, you mad blitzo. You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car and run, run three, three rings, rings to wrap, and max, max my credit, credit cards on, on shitty, shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons? lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. Choke on a sandpaper cock. Hold on! You better move that pussy wagon right now, or I'm gonna... You would. Or I'll, um, uh, I'll call HR. <laughs> anyway, meet my new hellhound, Vortex. Unlike you, he actually does his job well. Ta-ta, Foxstein. Ugh, I wasted so much time with a bag of holes like that. You know Verasica Mayday? Huh? Oh, yeah, her. Yeah, we dated. Was it before or after she became a pop star? You dated a pop star! Okay, why are you all acting like that's such a shock? Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you? I just... Is she blind? Suffering some form of brain damage. Okay, look, you are all making this into a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You do that! You totally do that. Time, yeah. sir. What was sex with her like? Billy! What? It's a pop star. You want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like. Touche. Okay, look, let's just drop it. Millie, just find a temporary spot for that truck. Okay, Looney, Moxie, let's go handle this shit. Do you think they saw me? Fuck, I did my makeup shitty today. Oh, you look perfect, Looney. Like always. Shut up, Jack! Oh, blitz! Yeah. Oh. oh. Whoa. Hi, big man. Where's your bitch bag of an employer? She's in her office. There wasn't room on the sucking floor, so they rented one here on this one. Cheaper. Oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Sir, how about you let me go in and try to reason with her? I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music, so her status to me is name recognition alone, in my opinion. Riveted Foxy, of... shut the fuck up. Alrighty, then. Hello, Miss Verasica, was it? I work for Imp, and it is actually rather important for us to retain the singular parking space we were assigned because... Aw, look at the little one. He's got a widow bow tie. Please don't condescend me, ma'am. I... Wanna kiss you, little guy? A kind offer, but I'm married. Hey, why don't you send a little message from me back to your limp dick? Boss. <laughs> don't touch that! Foxy, don't let her access any of your holes! I... I gotta go lie down. Now. Oh, this won't stand! <laughs> All right! That's it! If you're gonna be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking... challenge. Fuck, I said that twice. Mmm. Is this imp boy starting a demon duel? I think he is. What's the game then, Blitzo? So I bet you suck, you bitches, can't fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Game on, bitch. All right, shut your assholes. Here's how we're gonna do this shit. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into some water. We light it on fire to attract the sharks and eagles and shit. Maybe a goose too. Fuck it. They come and eat the bodies. We win the bet. We rub it in that sloppy bitch's drunken whore ass face. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Why was that nonsense? That wasn't a question. That wasn't a plan. I'm sorry, but that was a flawless presentation of what we should do, Mox. It's not my fault you got a smooth little brain upstairs. A what now? I'm calling you slow, Moxie. God, why don't you learn to take criticism, you talentless baby dick troll? Well, why don't you take an art class? Why don't you see how expensive they are? Hey, is there a way I can come with you guys this time? Absolutely not. I forbid it. Not gonna happen. Sorry, sweetie. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over you. Well, I can blend in with humans easy enough. Just let me tag along. Wait, say that again. I can blend in? Do you have a human disguise? Yeah, don't you?
You three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? Okay, new plan. Mooney can help lure the humans to us, and we'll take care of the rest. Okay, how about that? Flawless logic. I think you're missing the biggest issue, sir. Isn't it crucial to have a client who demands enough kills to win this bet? We aren't just going up to massacre. I got that covered, Mox. Now we wait. Sir, there is no way we are going to get enough clients by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. <laughs> now, who's first? Now remember, we can't be seen, all right? And loose shots will likely cause a panic, so Luna can help with leading targets to a better spot to off them. You got the list, Looney. <laughs> got it. Oh, Looney, look at you. You look downright awful. I am so proud. Now fetch! I'd like to see that whaley snatch orgasm that many. All right, spring breakers. Y'all ready to get fucked up and make some bitches bad choices? Fire! Yeah! Oh, oh, this is your final boarding call. All aboard. Back your backs. Sons. started her goatish mating call. Now she's gonna win all these sex maniacs. We gotta pick things up, guys. See you on the list, Looney. Huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Good! Oh, whoa, what are you? A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> but you sure as shit ain't gonna tell nobody. All right, next one, Looney, come on. Looney, what, 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 where's my baby? Look! You're the hound working for my boss's freaky ex. Yeah, <laughs> sorry if that's weird. It's cool, her beef ain't mine. I'm not paid enough to care. Yeah, yeah, I'm Luna. <laughs> okay. Hey, Vertex! <laughs> that's hot. I mean, like, literally, you know, because Vortex is, you know, they give off heat. Probably, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but my friends call me Tex. Oh yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I don't have friends. Am I interrupting something? Nah, man, just having a conversation. Conversation leads to HPV. And we've lost him. <sighs> it's looking like it's up to us to handle this list. Hell yeah. Team Eminem are getting shit done, making the money. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. You're gonna get us all into shit. I just wanted to see what was so important that you'd be distracted from your job. What, I can't have a break? We have a parking spot on the line. Hey, dude, why don't you chill out? Why don't you stay out of it? Okay, this is our business. Literally. Oh, fuck, Blitz. Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? 
because I adopted you. And that should mean something. Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad. I was almost 18. It still counts. Well, it shouldn't. I didn't need you then, asshole. I don't now. Enjoy your break, Looney. I'm gonna go kill something. Uh. Damn, girl, that was savage. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He'll get over it. He always does. <laughs> I'm glad you can stick up for yourself at least. Mm, takes guts. Thanks. did you get four heads? I wanna kiss him. She totally pegs you, doesn't she? Oh, yeah! Way to show off, Mills! Is Mox okay? Oh, yeah. He's fine. <laughs> this is funny. I'm so. <laughs> okay, this is too wholesome for my liking. Blitzo. Oh, perfect! That must be the whores. That was handled rather... obvious, don't you think? I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. <laughs> oh, Satan! <laughs> You've all been so fucked! <laughs> yeah, well, you three nasty ass gremlins will be in shit for not being in disguises. A human called me a possum. I am not a possum! You know, we could keep this little B-movie scene on the down low if you agree to let us use that parking space. Fine. We fucking won! <laughs> Fuck yeah! In your face, bitch! Come on, let's get out of here. Tex! Well, guess it's time to bounce. But hey, if you're ever down to party, I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend throws a ton of crazy hound parties. Nice. Can't wait for my first one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you some friends, girl. Come on, Looney Tooney. Let's go back and park our fat fucking car in our fat fucking space. <sighs> Put 
Get your hands up, you sick deviants! All right, sluts. Get ready to suck a lot of pig dick. Uh -huh. Let me on fire! Baby, one cop cop! Made a state of sex tape and showed it to my mom, You were a bitch, kind of general lead. Now I'm a wet, wild stallion, and I'm running free. You stepped on my nuts, you tore me apart. You left up my booty, and you tangled my farts. Cut off my dick!